This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello and welcome to issue 7 of Fast and Furious Build the Legendary Dodge Charger RT. Uh, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models and this is a build from Fan Home. So on with the build, initially straight away as ever I'll go through the magazine and see what's in there first. Uh, this issue contains a nice combination of metal and plastic parts which is all good uh, and it looks like we're just going to be building with those rather than anything that we've got assembled so far. Uh, so we're talking about uh, nitrous oxide, looks like quite an interesting read, which I'll probably read at some point, maybe, but yeah, anyway. Uh, the Dodge Challenger RT, it's the the yellow one, yellow, greeny yellowy one, so yeah. Um, I don't know the difference between them, but uh, it's similar to the Plymouth Barracuda, apparently. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, right, this time we are building some elements of the front section of the chassis, part two. Uh, pieces for this stage, we have um, the chassis K member, I don't know what that is, the front chassis cross member two, uh, cross member cover two, uh, the front anti-roll bar, the front anti-roll bar end links, the front anti-roll bar bracket, front right, we're doing lots with anti-roll bars, apparently, by the looks of today. So that's what we have here. Uh, it's It's the front bit. As, as we knew it was going to be the front bit. So uh, let's get on with the build and see exactly what it is that we're going to do. I can put the magazine out of the way, but let you have a look at the first part. 7.1, we're joining the cross member cover. It, it's those bits uh, with some CM screws, which we have here. Uh, it looks like there are three screws to go through there. Yep, there's three screw holes, so that's convenient. Uh, we have quite a collection of screws in these, so I'm sure we're going to be using more of these for something else. So let's just get the three out that I need. Uh, using my screwdriver, uh, that's going to go in. It can only go one way around. It's just going to go in like that. It should be easy, so I'm sure there's going to be something that's going to go hideously wrong. Um, you may notice that I'm not using my big fluffy mat at the moment, uh, because all of this is just normal metal stuff, um, you know, black metal stuff. It's not shiny plastic. I'm not worried about scratching unduly. So, uh, yeah, obviously no gloves are needed for this one either. So there we go. Uh, now I'm getting all three screws in before tightening any of them down to make sure everything lines up, even though it's pretty much got to because it goes into a little groove. So now that's in there, I can tighten them all down. And that is just about that. Uh, next up in 7.2, we're lining the rear end of the chassis K member, which is this big X shape thing, uh, with this, and right, let's get it the same way around as it is in the picture. That's that way around, and that's gotta be that way around, or is it that way up now? It's that way up now. So that's going on, oh, right, there we go. That's gonna line up quite neatly. I like the way that lines up there. That's cool, cool. Uh, and we're putting in two KM screws into these bits here. So KM, uh, there's only three of those in there. So obviously two of those now and one for spare, which I shall put in the box out of the way. Let's get that in there. He says not being able to get it in there for some reason. Why is that? Very strange. There it is. Right, so I'll just get that one in a couple of turns and make sure everything seats in properly and lines up so I can get the other one in as ever over the other side. Then we can tighten that down. Making sure it's nice and tight without too much force to strip it. And it's in there. Nothing is moving around, so that looks good to me. Uh, right, then we are taking 
these and some DP screws. So I'm putting that off to one side using two DP screws. So again, there's one left in the packet, so that's going to be spare for next time. Uh, we're using these. Now I can get it the right way up. That goes that way up. Uh, that looks like either end will work because they're both the same. That's going in there. And the DP screw will go through there and into it. So although there's only one screw to put in there, it's worth doing a little bit and making sure you're not at a funny angle or cross-threaded or anything through there before you can go back and tighten it up. That's that. Uh, these pieces are all plastic by the feel of them, so there'll be a little bit of bend and flex without worrying too much about them. So that's that one there. Going into that one there. Get that lined up. And then again, get it in. Make sure it's lined up properly, which it is. All good. Come back and tighten them down. Uh, it says make sure you look at the illustration properly to make sure you get them the right way around. I did. I made sure this curve was going upwards, just like what it is in the picture. So that's going in there like that. I've got no idea what any of this is. It's it's the suspension, but I don't know. Uh, right, moving on to 7.4. We're attaching the other end. Oh, I've just done that. I've done that already. There we go. Uh, then we are placing the anti-roll bars over. That's that way round. Okay, now these, where are these going to fit then? Let's... Right way down to there. Are these the same? No, they're exactly opposite. So that's that one is going down into there. Like that. Does that look right? I'm not sure. Seems to be. I'm just going to flick ahead and see from that. Uh, yeah, that certainly looks like that looks. So that's going to go in there. Um, but this has obviously got to go around it first. So this is going... Now, okay. There's room in there for that to go under there. So that is going on there like that. Mm, I'm not entirely certain. I'm going to... Pause the video, go and check, and then come back momentarily. Uh, right, yep, it absolutely has to go that way. So I've got a couple of the CM screws out. And I'll put one in there to hold that in place. So, yeah, that does work through there like that. And the other one goes on the other side. There's a pin on here and a screw hole, obviously, and there's a hole and a screw, and that's got to go in place over there, in there, and under there, just like that. So again, that then is held in place with the last of the screws this week. Just in there. So yeah, it does a thing. It looks like a thing. I shall tighten these up now. Looking good, feeling good, that's all right. I'm quite happy with how that's come together. I don't know anything about cars, so I could be absolutely any part without me being it the slightest bit wiser. But that looks like that. They then show it upside down, and for some reason, they show these as being silver in that next completed picture. So I'm not entirely certain about that. I might be painting them, I might not. We'll see how it looks and what happens on the build going forward. So that's that build part completed. Let's have a look at the rest of the magazine. We're talking about choppers, the king of the road. Not not the chopper, the bike in the U, the, mo the motorbike, not the little version that was the push bike in the UK. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. They can be tuned, why not? Look very nice, nice paintwork on them, and obviously leathers and stuff. And there we go. Motorcycles of Easy Rider, yeah. Okay. I'm not a motorbiker myself, I don't, you know... I am aware of them, but I don't use one. Uh, that was that. That's the back. So that was issue number seven. I'm very happy with how that's coming together. That will probably be attached at some point in the next week or two. 
So yes, I shall see you very shortly for issue eight. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.